Hi all and welcome. Thanks for joining us for our CLCC Virtual Sports Awards. Just a few technical issues. There we well. go. Just a quick message from us all in PE. So last year, obviously, we had a huge sporting success. And this was recognised and celebrated by our end of year sports awards, which is a brilliant awards evening. However, obviously due to this year, we've obviously not been able to do so and our sporting year has been cut short. However, we still want to celebrate with you the fantastic success of all of our students here at CLCC. So today we're going to highlight um, all the students that have taken part in extracurricular activities and fixtures, so giving training, um, and you will receive a certificate for all your hard work. So before we start, just a massive well done for, from all the PE staff here at CLCC. First sport we're going to start with is the cross country. Um, as those that took part know, the weather has not was not on our side at all. We've had such bad conditions, but every single student that took part did so, so well. Um, even some of the year seven boys this year, normally we struggle with year sevens, um, particularly boys to get involved with cross country, but we've had some fantastic turnouts this year. Um, and well done to the, um, to the girls that you can see on the picture as well. And for those that got through to um, English schools, it's seen a real big um, success with the cross country as always. Um, and like Miss Rose said, as a department, we are super proud of you all. So everyone that's taking part in cross country this year is Poppy Adkin, Eleanor Harwood, Lila Bryan, Megan Hughes, Matilda McGrath, Hayden Farrell, Claire, Charlie Jofferty and Freddie Brown. So well done. Um, I think this has to be one of my favourite um, extracurricular just because the level of enthusiasm um, from all of the girls that have taken part. Unfortunately, we didn't get our girls day this year where we go and take part in lots of different activities with different schools and girls that have taken part. Hopefully that we can do that next year, but the girls project's been really exciting. I know Miss Mars will feel exactly the same. Um, we've done loads of different activities, but the girls have really enjoyed dance where we've taken part in loads of different dance styles and had a go at lots of different things. And we've also had parents come in for a little bit of a showcase. So I'm really hoping if you took part this year, then please make sure you stick with it next year. And if you like the idea of coming along, it's a nice little community on a Tuesday. Obviously, it might change next year. Let me know and we'll look to get Oops. So well done for those that have taken part this year. So a list of all the girls that have uh, taken part. We've got Alex, Jasmine, Poppy, Teo, Chloe, Ellen May, Amelia, Hayley, Katie, Monica, Madison, Alexa, Tegan, Jess and Megan. So a massive well done to all of you. Um, girls football has been absolutely amazing. The first training session that we, um, we did, 35 girls, um, particularly the year sevens came. Um, and it really, really did take me by surprise. Um, and I think your enthusiasm to get involved, take part in the training sessions, we've had a lot of laughs along the way. Um, and even the fixtures, I mean, the fixtures might not have gone our way, but that hasn't dampened any of your spirits. The numbers have still stayed really high to the point that I had to make two year seven teams and alternate between the fixtures just to make sure that everybody got a game. Um, I am really proud of you this year. Um, and I think hopefully, please stick with it because next year, hopefully we can see a little bit more, a um, little bit more better results. Um, again, the year eight and nine, obviously you guys played separately last year. You, you've come together this year and you've also been fantastic and really demonstrated some fantastic teamwork and enthusiasm in all the games that you've played, regardless of, of what the score was. You, you've always stayed positive and as a department, we can't really ask for more than that. So we are, we are super proud and uh, please keep that up. Um, I would like to say a really, really big thank you to Emily Spencer for all of her hard work. Um, she's come to every fixture with me, every training session. She's even analysed the performances in the games and has actually um, planned training sessions to try and improve some of the girls' areas um, that we needed to work on. So without her help, I generally would not be able to have, um, have run the, the sessions after. So you've been amazing, Emily. So thank you so much. Um, 
another one, the girls' futsal has also been fantastic. Um, we did really well this year. The Year 7 team um, got through to the second round of the tournament for Blaby and Harborough and actually finished second overall. So, And there was only just one goal between it. And, you know, you were all really, really fantastic. Um, even if Elowin decided to tell me that she wanted to go in goal and then I took her out of goal and she scored five. So thank you, Elowin, for that. Um, and, yeah, hopefully keep up next year. She's been fab. So the Year 7 football and futsal team, we've got Hannah, Phoebe, Jodie Lee, Emily, Poppy, Elowin, Imogen, Cody, Lily, Harriet, Robin, Keris, Elle, Tiffany, Amber, Madison, Robin and Eleanor. If I have missed anybody out, I'm really, really sorry. Please let me know because there was that many of you. I was struggling to remember everybody. So if you if you did play and you think, why is Miss Mason not mentioning me, please let me know and I will make sure that you are on there and you get a certificate. The year eight and nine, we've got Mia, Lucy, Millie, Scarlett, Kelsey, Evie, Jada, Poppy, Tilly, Jocelyn, Flo, Sarah, Grace, Jessica and Ruby. So massive well done guys, we can't wait till our next season. So we all look forward to seeing you at training when we can start that again. Um, obviously the boys football, I know I'm speaking on behalf of a couple of members of the staff, but this year I've seen an exciting one for our footballers. The year sevens have shown a fantastic level of commitment to training each week. I know that Mr Armstrong has um, run a few extra training sessions and I know hopefully next year that you can have a little bit more game time. Um, year nine have also seen huge success. Um, there was a bit of lack of interest at the start of the season, but actually after a little bit of encouragement, we managed to get some um, really valuable members of the team. Um, and actually the teams remained unbeaten. Um, our year 10 team have also demonstrated fantastic effort and teamwork this year. And we are super proud of all of you boys that have joined in. So the year seven team, so well done to Elliot, Harry, Jack, George, Dan, Cameron, Finnan, Freddie, Saxon, Alfie, Leo, Freddie, Carl, Mika, Harley, Karim and Brad. So well done to all you lot. We've got the year eight football team, Oliver, James, Rio, Kai, Rion, Harry, Elliot, Jack, Reese, Carl, Cyprian, Ruben and Kenzie. Year nines, we've got Sean, Declan, Harry, Finley, Ed, Corey, Alfie, Regan, Frank, Josh, Sam, Stanley, Gino and Noah. And then finally, the year tens, we've got Archie, Ryan, Sam, Yash, Ethan, Josh, Mahi, Jodie, Jack, Kean, Kaylin, Luke and Oliver. So a massive well done to you all. Again, we can't wait to start our season next year. Too, but obviously we don't know when that will begin. Boys basketball, I've seen a few of this and I think I Miss Rose will agree when she's seen it as well. The standard has been really fantastic and I think um, I speak on behalf of Mr Williams and Mr Armstrong as well. But we've seen, again, huge success with the basketball. I know the year 10s will often come down and train at lunchtime just to get a few extra training sessions in and clearly that paid off because you've been fantastic. But um, there's been huge success for our year 10 and 11 with both teams being crowned Blaby and Harbour champions again for the fifth consecutive year. Um, for, uh, for year 11 and for the third consecutive year for year 10. Both teams have played in the semi-finals but narrowly missed out on the final place. However, their hard work and commitment has been fantastic during the whole time. Additionally, our year 7s, despite not playing a lot of the games, still demonstrated a fantastic effort and we look forward to getting the team back together next year. Also, well done to all the students who took part in our extracurricular basketball with the riders coach every Monday. Although we don't have your all of your names, it still doesn't mean that we don't recognise the effort that you're putting in on a Monday after school with the riders coach. Uh, year 7, we've got Joanne Ting, Daniel, Ashton, Charlie and Harry. Again, Mr Armstrong does apologise if he's missed anybody off there. So if there is any other Year 7 basketballers that has attended, please email us and we will get a certificate out to you straight away. Year 10, we've got Jaden, Toby, Joel, Curtis, Jensen, Kaylin, Kian, Marty and Aidan. And Year 11, Sam, Tyler. Daniel, Connor, Fraser, Havison, Liam and Ollie. 
Um, this is on behalf of Mr Carrier because I know that he started up and he's um, an extra cricket club after school and um, he just wanted to say a huge thank you to those that have continuously kept going with the cricket. We're hoping next year we can get a bit of more of a team together and get some fixtures organised, um, obviously when we can. Um, so if you are interested in cricket and giving it a go, then obviously please go along. But if not, just a massive well done to those that have continued to show um, their enthusiasm and dedication towards the sport. And hopefully we can see more success next year. So students that took part in the cricket with Miles, Adam, Athol, Jefferson, Noah, Dylan, Nikhil, Josh and Tom. So well done. And I know we're looking forward to starting this club back up again when we can. Um, dance is always one of the most well attended extracurricular on a Monday after school. Um, we've done so many exciting things, um, particularly at the start of the year with the, with the festival, um, with the primary schools, um, which is always a huge success. And just watching all of you just putting so much effort into everything that you do. We are really, really proud of you all. Um, and again, like I said, it's one of the most the biggest club that we have with the most amount of students continuously come in every single week. Um, the girls did have um, did enter the competition, um, which actually they did really, really well and they attended the regional finals where they came an amazing second in the East Midlands. So that's something that they should be really, really proud of. And I know uh, Mrs. Miles and Mrs. Hunt are also super proud of you all. So a uh, huge well done and hopefully next year we can keep going with the dance. So yeah, well done. So all the girls that participated in dance, again, if we have missed you off, then please email your names and we will get a certificate sent to you. We've got Jess, Eleanor, Beth, Amara, Abby, Phoebe, Yashvi, Josephine, Robin, Maisie, Libby, Layla, Lily, Maddie and Ellen. So well done to you all and keep it up. We've got, also we've got Holly, Violet, Grace, Jada, Ella, Megan, Angelica, Katie, Izzy, Sienna, Monica, Abby and Lacey. Again, a massive well done to you all. The exciting bit. So, that's obviously two weeks ago we did our sports day week where there were six activities for you to take part in that you could all do at home. So, I know we had shop put that you could do with a pair of socks javelin that you had to make a paper aeroplane and see how far you could throw it, a five metre dash, a 2k walk or run and, and then um, we had some jumps in there too. So just a little bit of a different way of doing sports day this week because it is a massive um, day for us in PE. Obviously we couldn't do it this year and a really big thank you um, and well done to all the students that got involved. There could have been slightly more but obviously with it, with it being virtual, some students may not have wanted to get involved, but others loved having the virtual challenge to complete. So we have got the results. So this is Gear 7, and thank you to Mr. Bullivan for putting all the results together. So Lawrence came first, Turing, Brunel, Hawkins, Wilberforce, and then Spencer. So as you can see, um, the scores there, and the male and female for the individual winners of year seven were Eve Plum and Daniel William Smith. So congratulations to you two. So then we move on to year eight. Again, you can see the houses that won. It's quite close. Um, again, I think Lawrence has won again. And the individual winners were Harvey and Emily. A massive well done to you two. Year nine, Brunel won in year nine, so well done. And the individual winners were Poppy and Daniel. Moving on to year 10, Hawkins took the lead for year 10. And the two individual winners in year 10 were Nathaniel and Eleanor. So massive well done to everyone that took part in that virtual sports day. Obviously we are think are we are looking into creating some more virtual challenges throughout of next year to do at home as well as with it with it, as well as your PE lessons because I know some of you have really um, liked doing some challenges at home.
Last of all, we'd, lo we'd like to say a massive well done to everybody who has taken part this year. And there will be some certificates um, receiving, you will receive some certificates shortly via email, so look out for those. Again, we've said if you have, we have missed you off, please email us with your name. Even if you came to one training session, we still want um, to recognise that, so please send your name in and we will get the certificate out to you. I'd say obviously we're not sure as what extracurricular that will be available in sort of as we return but hopefully we'll get as soon as we have a better idea we'll send you um what we're going to be doing and uh, hopefully maybe challenge yourself this year to take part in something that maybe you've not taken part in so far um, and like we said on behalf of the p department we're all really proud and it's really lovely to be in part of extracurricular um, and i'm sure mrs rose agrees that you know come and get involved and everyone that's been mentioned we are super proud of you and keep up the good work and enjoy your summer